In exercise 3, we'll learn to use our first AMP component, AMP Image. In this exercise, we will fix the image tag validation error on our site. We'll get to use our first AMP component. And we'll also learn how certain AMP components replace corresponding HTML tags. The AMP Image tag is a built-in component. You don't need to load any additional JavaScript for it to work. The goal of the AMP Image tag is to improve on the standard HTML image tag. AMP makes you specify the size of all the components in advance, and images are no exception. It wants to know the layout of the entire page in advance. That way, it can keep the content from jumping around as elements load. AMP can also decide when to load images or any components. It does lazy loading, which means that they aren't loaded until the user's about to see them, and this is what makes web pages load much faster. Now, let's do this in our Cheese Bikes site. To add the AMP image component, replace the image tag with AMP image in your site. Give the image a width of 640 pixels and a height of 480 pixels. Now pause the video and try this yourself. Give yourself ample time. Ouch. <laughs>The portion of the page containing the image should look like the HTML on your screen. Now check the AMP validator extension. If you've completed this exercise successfully, the extension icon will be green. And if so, congratulations! Your page is now a valid AMP page. Yes. High five. Ow. <laughs> Our web page looks great on bigger screens, but if you check your site on a mobile device, on your browser's mobile device simulator, you'll see that the image runs off the side of the screen on these smaller devices. To fix this, we'll use the layout property that's supported by most AMP components, including AMP image. We'll set this property to responsive. This makes the image automatically scale when the window resizes. The image will assume the dimensions of the parent container, all while respecting the original aspect ratio. In other words, as this container shrinks or expands, so will our image, while keeping the same ratio of width to height. If you add the layout attribute to the image correctly, the image will now look like this. Now it has the correct aspect ratio and fills the width of your screen on your mobile device. AMP has a few layout types. For example, fixed means that the component size is fixed. It will never get resized. Intrinsic is similar to responsive. It has the concept of an intrinsic height and intrinsic width that the component can't exceed. As we've seen, responsive retains the component's aspect ratio while letting it shrink and grow with its container. AMP offers other layout types to make it easier to build your page. To learn more, check the AMP documentation. Our marketing team at Chico's Cheese Bikes has released a video of a cheese bike being constructed. Ooh. They'd like to add this video to our site. We should do that. So in this exercise, We'll learn how to embed a YouTube video into our site. We'll get more practice with AMP component layouts. We'll also learn to use additional component attributes. The AMP YouTube tag is an extended component of AMP, which means you'll need to include its JavaScript. To use it, you'll need to specify the ID for the video. Let's try it. Add an AMP YouTube tag to the bottom of your site. Set the width attribute to 480 pixels and the height to 270 pixels. Set the layout attribute to responsive. Set the video ID to the value you see on the screen. You'll need to add the script inside the head. Check the documentation to see how to do this. It may be easiest just to copy a sample from there and adapt it as we've just described. Now pause the video and try this for yourself. And here's the solution. We've got an AMP YouTube tag with the video ID, the layout, the width, and the height. And here is how you should have included the AMP YouTube JavaScript library. This looks similar for all extended components. All that needs to change is the file name. In this case, that's AMP YouTube 0.1.js.